Uh, let's see how this works on a phone and if you can hear the kettle in the background. Ding! Morning everyone, we have a few days until uh, MCM London Comic Con. Well, London Expo, everyone still calls it really. Um, so, it's prepping, it's printing, it's getting everything together and getting that shit in the car. Cheers! It's also adding something that's not mine to the stockpile uh, because I borrowed it from a friend, Seth Kimpton. Uh, Discord Comics, and I need to return it. It's a really good book, My Lesbian Experience with Loneliness by Nagata Kabi. Look it up, it is really interesting. Um, but not really like a feel-good, happy adventure kind of way, just more of an introspective, hmm, yeah, people are complicated kind of a way. <laughs> it's, it's, it's very cool. Also, look at our new house, which is mostly tidy now. I'm not showing the floor very much. What is MCM London Comic Con? Well, it is literally the biggest, like, largest and most attended convention in the UK of comic-y type stuff. It's weird, Comic Con doesn't really mean Comic Con, it means thing where celebrities from TV usually go, so it's kind of weird to call it that, but it's what it's branded and people know what it is, you know? It's like saying a geek convention, people don't always go with that. The washing is good, I will get a basket for that. So yeah, that's the kind of thing we're going to. It's also huge, and we've been several times. Actually, I don't know if Mike's been before, but I've been several times. Um, but only as like a punter or press or helping a friend out. Um, this is our first time as Dragonhide, which is um, a little bit intimidating. It was expensive. So we handle the postage for both ourselves and Dr. Jeff, who does amazing stuff. Links, links, links. He's freaking brilliant. He's an old friend of mine. I've known him for years. Um, He's far more established than us, so, you know, we're not getting orders right up to the minute before MCM, but, uh, he is. So, I'm taking a brief break and letting it print out a whole bunch of stuff for me to deal with, uh, while I just walk into town and go do the post. Also, the printer hates me and it's turned through a hissy fit. It's insisting that it can't print anymore and it's out of ink. What's really happening is that it's low on cyan ink, CMYK, um, but it's printing black and white, so it doesn't matter. My printer especially has two separate black ink cartridges, one normal, one frickin' huge, and a grey cartridge it never uses. Why does it even want to have cyan ink for a black and white picture? It makes no sense. End of the day, I am surrounded by washing, so that's something I have to get on before I can actually go to sleep in this bed. Also, I put my pink streak back. This. The dye is very subtle, so, um, it, it looks better in person, I swear. I'm probably gonna go back to what I was using before, uh, just because it's got, like, a bright neon pink, and, um, I, I prefer that. Uh, successful printing, though, it managed to get everything done. These were a lovely little thing to get done, uh, reversing on camera does not help them. Uh, it's Rainbow Roads, the map that Tab Kimpton, the, I mentioned Tab earlier in this very video, I think, uh, put together to help people find creators of queer comics and just queer creators uh, at shows that don't tend to advertise them because they're either trying to be super kid-friendly or just aren't that interested. Uh, so I print out a whole bunch of those that I can give away as flyers because I love it as an initiative and I genuinely use it to find other people. Um, people who I already want to find, who I don't know where they are because conventions are big. So I managed to get all the prints I wanted done and then completely ran out of A4 cards so I've got what I've got for now, so that is a beautiful new one that Cami has done. Oh my god. Uh, the sparkly ones that I've had from them for ages, since the Kickstarter. New Charles and Francis, new to me, I only saw it for the first time at Kaboom um, when they brought it themselves. New ones with Lady Charles and Francis, which is super cool, and super magical girl Charles healer thing. Oh my god, this is freaking hilarious and adorable and beautiful, and I love it. Uh, I'm just going through the safe for work folder, but there's a lot more. Dr. Anfalo's stuff, which is brand new, and I'm so excited. Big Bar of Spicy Daddy is a shirt that we're wanting to get made. Uh, postcards by Cami, and Cami's amazing stickers as well. Love it. Whoop. Postcards by us. Nice and minimal and simplistic. And then, oh, it's a painting of a Yeti in a snowstorm. Basically, it's a nice little thing, and it just means that um, it doesn't take up nearly as much display space. For us to have a bunch of super cool, awesome printer madoodles out, which is awesome because space was something we're running out of with the number of books we've got going on. 
Also, yeah, I've not vlogged in freaking ages, um, just lack of time really, and with London Expo happening, it's big and I wanted to vlog for it. If you are watching the vlog at all, tell me, do you want to see more? Should I do that? Should I talk about all these video games? I never did go through my earring list. Woo! You do you. But what should I do?